Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about open games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and arrived in the mansion, met Professor E. Gad, and fought a couple of ghosts. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and take this mirror back to the, uh, back to the entranceway. Because, like we saw in last episode, you can use those to teleport all the way to the foyer, or the foyer. However you pronounce it. Head over to the left door and... Hmm. Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor E. Gad. I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search for its heart for clues. Sometimes you can l learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Of course, as always, we open up this door, and I think I might start skipping this, this these uh, door opening cutscenes after we finish Area 1. Yeah, because they're quite slow. Got a large trail of money leading right to this door, and an interesting thing about this door, this right here is a real door. When we suck it up, it shakes. This door right here, when we suck it up, it doesn't shake. Also, when we go to our map, we can't see it. It doesn't lead anywhere. Well, it would lead to that room, but, you know, there's no... There's no door to be seen over there. That's because that's a fake door, and if you try to open it, you'll get hit, and you'll lose a bit of money. Now we want to head into the study. And right over here is Neville, our first boss ghost. Now first what we want to do is head over here, shake this chair, and we get Speedy Spear. Be careful because he can sometimes mess you up because you're right up against that chair. But anyways, we get a ruby. Our first gemstone. Basically, those give you a bunch of money, so you want to collect those. You, you'll usually find them either inside of chests, but it's very rare to find one. Or you could also find them in speedy spirits and also golden mice. If we look over here, there's some cheese, and if you interact with it, a golden mice will pop up. Suck him up. And you get a bunch of money along with an emerald. I'm just gonna quickly get all of this money. And now, finally, it's time to deal with this boss ghost. First, you want to go into first person view and examine him. Ho 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 ho! Go ahead, try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho 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 ho. So, we, he can, the reason he's able to disappear is because he can see us. So we just need to wait for him to not be able to see us. And then suck him up. Now when you're sucking up a boss ghost, they have a lot more HP than a typical ghost. And they start dropping pearls. These basically also give you extra money. And the better you do on a boss fight, the better pearls you get. There are three tiers of pearls. And the big pearl is something you can only get, like, what if I, I think if you do it perfectly or if you get just really good. And then the other two pearls also give you a good amount of money, but not as good as the big pearl. Oh, yeah. We open up this chest and we get another key. All the way on the left side of the hall. Also, you'll see a lot. Sometimes I go to open a door, but I press A just a split second too soon and Luigi says Mario prepare to hear that a lot and yeah I'll go ahead and start skipping the uh, door opening cutscenes we're past the first episode so you understand how the cutscenes look also right outside of the window you can see toad from the second floor balcony so that's a fun little detail not real really a detail just something they put in the game now you want to go ahead and suck up this vacuum stand in one place suck it up and just wait a little bit for it to go really fast and eventually 
and you get a bunch of money. That'll be a, a running thing here is just that you do something and you get a bunch of money. Now, we don't have much to do here in this room yet other than fight the boss ghost. This is Lydia, I believe. Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course, I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of a mirror. It seems to scare people, though, so everything is coming up roses. Sorry for my awful English accent. But to mess up her hair, we want to suck this curtain over here. That'll anger her. And then we start vacuuming her up. We'll also start dropping poisonous mushrooms, which will uh, cause you to stop sucking on the ghost, as well as shrink you so you can't use your vacuum for a little bit. Just open up this chest, and we get another key. Now it's time to go to the Area 1 boss fight. And when I say the Area 1 boss fight, I mean like the final boss fight of the area. I'm gonna walk into this door. This is the nursery. And there isn't much that we can do here. Other than we want to go ahead and... First I'll just... This is one of the few times that I want to interact with everything really quickly. Also, interesting note, uh, for future use, whenever you open this up, you'll always get a heart that heals a bunch of your HP. So if you're ever low on HP at any later point in the game, just come on over here, open this up, and you'll be good. We want to go ahead and interact with him. Horsey, Rocky, Horsey, what he says. Just want to cause the old horse thing over here to rock back and forth. Hey, want to play with me? And then he starts going after you, so you just want to take this toy ball and pop him in the head. Ow, you gave me an alley. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small, now go smaller. Small, itchy, tiny, little, wee. Ga, 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 goo, goo, ga. This is Chauncey. Using magic, I guess, he shrunk us down to an incredibly small size, and now we have to fight him. That cry that he does at the beginning of the fight has always, like, it always terrified me when I was little. I'm going to be going through a lot of things in this game where I tell you about stuff that absolutely terrified me as a kid. Anyways, if you want to start sucking him up, and there's no way to do it in one shot. It has to be done across multiple shots. Uh, Speedrunners actually, I forget the exact number, but they but they get them down to a certain HP uh, specifically so that it takes less time to suck them up the second time. He keeps throwing horses at you. And then he takes. Oh, wait, no, never mind. He starts throwing uh, the uh, the balls at you again. There's a lot of innuendos that could be made about this game and you know this boss fight and just everything that has to do with this game. Okay, next time we suck him up, we'll be able to finish the boss. Fight. But yeah, that cry just scared me as a kid. <laughs> 
Maybe it's just because I was really bad at dealing with horror-related stuff, and so even stuff like this would just creep me the heck out. Like, uh... Uh... In Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, the uh, Happy Mask Salesman always creeped me out. Especially the face that he makes, like, when he realizes you didn't get Majora's Mask back at the beginning of the game. And also the shopkeeper from Link's Awakening with the lightning powers. He always terrified me as a kid. Like, he's literally just pixels in, in an 8-bit game and he still scared me. Anyways, that's the Chauncey fight. You know what? I think I did relatively good. Interesting thing to note is that this chest right here, while it's spawning in, you can walk behind it. And that's how speedrunners clip out of bounds, is by doing that. Anyways, we just want to open up this chest. And we get the heart key. We get another call from Professor Yad. Luigi. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost all contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm, you seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you think? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But ho oh, ho, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Get it. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghost you catch into painting. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm? How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible form. And presto, determined beautiful ghost portraits. Hmm, well we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks, thanks for your help, Luigi. Now you've caught Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. So when it comes to the ghost portraits, what you see is different depending on how well you did in the boss fights. The frame of each painting can either be golden, silver, or bronze. Sometimes it can be a bit hard to tell between golden and bronze, but I believe for all three, I got gold. So that's pretty good. Usually for Chauncey, I get silver because sometimes he could be a bit annoying, but I didn't have too much trouble with his boss fight that time. You've caught a total of three ghosts, at least portrait ghosts. And so we also get how much money we made in that area. Got, uh, I'll just let it do all of the adding together and then wait for us to get the full numbers. So in total for Area 1, we got 8,190,000 gold, or Gs, or whatever, whatever currency they use. Would you like to save up to this point? The game was saved. Where will you go to, Luigi? So, yeah, we finished up Area 1, and... Yeah, we got three portrait ghosts, which was pretty cool, and we got 8 million G. So we did a pretty good, a lot of good stuff this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and head back to the mansion, go to area two, and see what else we can do there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.